coming up on Starting Line. As I'm driving my car, I would see adults in the car with kids smoking, and I just thought to myself, at some point, it just seemed wrong. Should smoking in a car be banned if people under the age of 18 are in the vehicle? Learn more about Representative Rena Moran's bill to do just that on this week's Starting Line. Smoking has been banned in many public places. It was less than a generation ago you could light up in a restaurant or even on a plane. One of the places smokers can still enjoy a cigarette is in their car. But Representative Rena Moran wants to make it illegal if there are people under the age of 18 inside the vehicle. This type of bill has been moving across the country. Um, and, you know, with some of the policies that we've been moving here around not only vaping but cigarettes and flavored cigarettes, um, I picked it up and saw it and said, you know, it actually is really something I've been thinking about for years. And just thought that, you know, as I'm driving my car, I would see adults in the car with kids smoking. And I just thought to myself, at some point, it just seemed wrong. Um, we know the impact of smoking, but we also know the impact of secondhand smoke. And the bill states that police officers would not be allowed to stop drivers based on this alone. Not based on this alone. So, although I, I truly believe that we need to have some policy statewide around the harm of tobacco on children or any other occupant, um, I don't want this to be a bill where we begin to target like certain communities, uh, individuals, um, and have like huge fines. I've done some amendments to this bill, and that is one of the amendments that I've done, that it uh, decreases the uh, first warning, second is um, a $50 fine. So in, in, in a huge way, I believe this needs to be also focused on educating people and um, of the harm and the impact of secondhand smoke. And so having other conversations with community members, looking at other legislators, just trying to really create the will to move this bill this session, uh, I had to make some adjustments, and that was one of those adjustments that I made to the bill. Now, why do you think just passenger vehicles? Well, there's other areas, maybe. What if someone lights up on a uh, light rail train, let's say? I mean, that might already be illegal, <laughs> but... So, this again, this is not a bill that is really trying to... Uh, punish people because they decide that, you know, smoking is something that they enjoy doing. It's really looking at the impact it has on others, especially children. And so we want to keep it clean. We want to keep the, the focus on uh, secondhand smoke, the impact it has on children, and begin to educate people additionally, as we have been doing over the years, about that impact. Inevitably, someone's going to say, hey, where am I going to be able to smoke? Um, this, is, this is an attack on smokers. You know, we was just having this conversation about, you know, how um, we have moved from those places where we used to smoke in a restaurant. Mm -hmm. We used to smoke in hospitals. Can you believe that? No, I can't. That happened. Um, and I think a few years ago, we moved some legislation around foster parents, prohibiting foster parents from smoking in their homes with foster kids. So to me, this is like a, a natural progression. Um, we we're talking about an enclosed vehicle where an adult is smoking and the smoker is circulating through that car to have a huge impact on, on a child. And there is, there's also research and data about the impact of a vehicle where the windows are down. It doesn't stop that secondhand smoke from, from touching that individual child or others in that car. House File 3072 has been referred to the House Health and Human Services Policy Committee. Representative Moran chairs the committee, so there's a fair chance the bill will receive a hearing. Representative Moran's bill is one of over 3,000 introduced this session. To learn more about some of these proposals, check out our nonpartisan session daily work on the House website at house.mn/sessiondaily. Thanks for watching the Starting Line. <laughs>